Have you ever had a really crazy but oddly specific dream? Well, our family's apple butter festival was one of those things for me. We are still waiting on apples from our own apple trees, so I went ahead and bought a bushel of apples from the store. Then we invited a whole bunch of friends over and just asked everyone to bring a bag of apples with them. So we ended up with about two bushels of apples that we used the apple peeler cores to slice them all up. So then we dumped the apples in the kettle with the boiling apple cider. And that kettle, oh, there, that's a great story for another day. My husband helped me build this stir. It went through a couple iterations and next year will be even better. But it did the job for us this year. So basically everybody took turns stirring. In my dreams I'd hoped for a crisp fall day. But as you can see everybody has shorts on because it was really more like a balmy day. And a little warm for standing around the fire but we all enjoyed ourselves anyways. So you can see the apples start to break down the as they cooked and as we stirred them. Yummy. Yeah. Looks like I was like apple not pie. sure if I was even buying anywhere close to enough wood. Yeah. But like one of the videos I watched, they were like unloading a whole, uh, you know, pickup truck, just like dumping out. But you know, we we didn't fill this up. You know what I mean? If we right. filled up the whole thing, yeah. Then uh, yeah, I think it would it would take even more. By the time it got really dark, most of our friends had already decided to head home. So we were holding out a little bit longer outside and we added some sugar and cinnamon to the kettle at this point. But eventually our energy petered out for the night and we took it all inside to finish up the next morning. We added some apple cider vinegar and some lemon juice to just bring up the acidity a little bit more and then we started the process of jarring the apple butter. We prepared all the jars by running them through the dishwasher and heating them all up and we hot packed them in this kind of traditional way that uh, also means it's not exactly FDA approved. This isn't something I would trust to probably keep in my cupboard over the winter but since we were keeping these in our fridge all winter that this process was good enough for us. The apple butter's been in the fridge for about three months at this point and we haven't had any jars go bad on us yet so this process works well enough for what we are using it for. Now we're loving the apple butter on toast and on pancakes and waffles but my husband had this really great idea that we should make cinnamon rolls and put the apple butter in the middle of the cinnamon rolls and I think that sounds awesome. So we have yet to try that but we're going to one of these days. Ultimately we got 30 quarts of apple butter and we delivered it around to our friends that came to the party with us. And my dream is that one day this apple butter will all be made from apple trees on my own property. This was good enough for us this year. If you want to see the progress in my orchard and how it was looking in the middle of last summer, click on this video.